Hola, YouTube friends. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I finally got my phone working. <laughs> um, really quickly, I just wanted to go over what revelations I picked up from uh, yesterday. And regarding the, I have to keep this very blatant, the collapse in Florida. Um, so it's hot here in LA. So sorry, I have no clothes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, basically, uh, I was watching a news report and one of the reporters said there's like this awful, awkward smell, uh, almost like not, he said, not gas. It's like this, this fire burning, um, fire burning without fire means that there is oil exposed so i was thinking the land the territory of uh the the collapse and what was that that happened two days ago um there must be oil underneath and when you have uh magma you have kind of like in in the uh, asia they have like the liquid floors where it's magma um so really quickly i was looking at the numbers of this is said um, 159 people um, unaccounted for. Um, let me go back into that later. So this photo here is the uh, Great American Eclipse. Why is that so significant? Because it goes right through the middle of the country. And also, if you see where the dot is here, where are we? Oh, Lord. You know, the dot under the yellow line. <laughs> That's where they have the Indian pipeline controversy. And only someone who would channel messages would know this. This was August 21, 2017. Keep in mind, we had the Revelation 12 sign a month after that, where it was the man child and the uh, woman in all clothing uh, moon at her feet, stars at her head. Keep that in mind. Uh, so the Great American Eclipse. I was saying it had nothing to do with the moon. Um, I also had a theory that there was some digging and, and making room for pipelines or for discovering a pipeline underneath. So that line drew was probably nothing to do with like where the moon was going to go during this eclipse. I think it was the pipeline. And so if you were to draw that pipeline to Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Haiti, Gulf of Mexico, you have to make a cut somewhere. If you've been in America, every time you go out of the country to fly, you have your, um, excuse me, oop, there you go. <laughs> you have your layover in Miami. Uh, moving forward, everyone who stepped outside of the Great American Eclipse, I believe, gathered what i've been saying with sulfur dioxide that's just what i'm saying from the pipeline being exposed to the air because that was 2017 took two years to so i thought go on dramatria and look up some of these things first one i came up with was oil when i typed in miami i did surf what was it called surfside which was the name of the building. Chemical came up in Dramatria. Um, Murderer came up. <laughs> Sun Lord, Make America Great Again came up. That acknowledges uh, the eclipse. Serpent Seed came up. That's what I think. Um, Trump lived in Miami or lives in Miami, right? Didn't he have a, a building there? So I thought everything focuses his way. Uh, when I did, oh, I forgot what Dramatra code I did. Oh, I did, I think I did the word collapse. It said a demonic human being. And then I think I already know who that is. It says Lumerians, uh, American Band, um, Smorgasbord. 
Don Knotts, Bread to Kill Them All, Finished Cross, which means an uncrossing. Anyway, so going forward, this picture surfaced. Someone did a filter of this artwork. I won't say who that is. But it's just some artwork. Fair use notice, it's just a display of art. But uh, yeah, someone had described the artwork. It showed a red dragon in the ear. It showed black eyes, it showed horns. This is what they were describing of the artwork, the shapes and symbols that were in the art. So we already know about Re Revelation 12 sign, which was uh, the red dragon. Uh, eventually after the labor pains, the red dragon be hurled to earth, will try to consume the man child. I believe that that was Trump was the man child, literally <laughs> a man acting childish. Um, I put here, uh, you know who, <clears throat> uh, I can say Trump, but I can't say the other name. Uh, he is the red dragon. He is, uh, what we've all been talking about trying to consume the man child. I didn't realize that Trump made Jerusalem the capital of, I'm sorry, made Israel the capital of Jerusalem, literally the time of the sign of Revelation 12 sign, because that was November, uh, it was a year prior to the Revelation 12 sign, but we have a two-year loop, so therefore it did happen, the two-year loop is weird, two-year loop basically means we've had leap years so much forward that the actual timeline happened exactly at the time of uh, Trump acknowledging uh, Israel as the, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Um, Ethiopian calendar, they're on a regular course of seven, seven year cycles. So they're seven years behind 2012. You guys get what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> thank you to my friend who posted this. There goes the man child. There goes the man child. <laughs> um, last thing. You guys know how I was talking about uh, sulfur dioxide and uh, the pandemic, what was going on. Because you know how I have my theory and then I have lingering effects because I had it. And when I had uh, displayed to people, my lingering effects... <laughs> The thing about it is when you have free radicals in the body, if it is, if it's viral, it'll affect the viral load in the body, which is in the uh, RNA and the red cells of the bloodstream. This is not in the bloodstream. Moving on. I'm almost done. Inhalation, very toxic and cause death. Uh, severe irritation, nose and throat, uh, high concentrates can cause life-threatening accumulation, pulmonary edema, symptoms may include coughing, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, tightness of chest. So you guys get what I'm saying? I'm painting the whole picture that basically when they say new Delta variant, um, this happened nine hours after the situation in Miami. Uh, I thought this was fascinating, too, because I saw this news report. You guys don't really see what I see, but I circled it and pointed it out for you guys. I know it's the mirror image, but see what I mean? Of uh, the time that it was posted to the number of people unaccounted for. And yeah, and the first who reported it was NBC6. <laughs> Wisdom is back. The last thing is that I, I, I was watching the news report and it said the federal agency was given more authority to investigate the building collapses after several buildings fell in 9-11. Notice he said several, not a couple. Uh, the Standard Institute had a role, blah, 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 in deadly Kansas City hotel walkaway collapse and the Rhode Island nightclub fire. So I'm like, why are these federal agencies so involved in these? Because what happens is they block off the scene of what's going on. I don't know what happens after, but I guess they it takes several days to determine the conduct of the full investigation. 
So you have the same agency that goes to these building related uh, cat uh, cataclysms. And um, it just sucks. It, they tell you straightforward. It says uh, building codes, I uh, said, sorry. Um, if it does, the organization would try to determine the technical causes of the collapse and determine or, or and recommend changes to the building codes or practices. Anyways, I'm over it. That's all I want to share with everybody. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Secrets revealed.